Hello guys, welcome back on my channel, Ignas Seven Games. Defeat Valkyrie Venedis. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Ingravota. Enter the Mystic Gateway, where Kratos will stop Atreus. Following a short cutscene, the pair will be interfered with by one more gathering of hill rivers. Rod them. What were you thinking? I I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days. I do not lie to me again. Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow you everywhere. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it, but I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. That's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... After overcoming the Hell Rivers, Kratos is gone after by a strong Valkyrie known as Venedis, who will have seven segmented health bars you'll have to train. Overcoming Venedis will be no simple accomplishment, and she will be among perhaps of the most difficult adversary you've confronted so far. Despite the fact that it's prescribed to avoid at all costs whenever the situation allows. The system can feel like a bit of a drag. In this way, assuming you are hoping to give some hazardous yet powerful harm during the experience, we track down that keeping Fanadis facing the edges of the area would frequently keep her from escaping in reverse end. All things being equal, remaining nearby distance. While joining this with the way that a considerable lot of her attacks can be intreated on with very much plain counter attacks. That's what you'll find as a rule. You're counterbalancing her attacks, leaving her paralyzed briefly and powerless against hurting attacks. All things considered, you will not generally have the option to drop her attacks. Many will in any case land upon you, managing critical harm. So in the event that you are battling and not to hesitate to even consider dying, this might be a potential way for you to gather enough harm to drain three of her health bars permitting you to arrive at a designated spot in the battle. Fanatis will perform three somewhat various varieties of the scaffold charge, every one of which can be blocked and buried when planned accurately. Make sure to use your safeguard strikes. Now, during the second phase, all of the same tactics from phase 1 still apply. However, you will need to account for a new attack, 
which sees Venedis tossing five unblockable pools of poison onto the ground. You will want to avoid these pools at all costs, otherwise you will be dealt damage for as long as you are standing in them. So aside from presenting the new assault, the fight will remain for the most part something very similar until you drain Venedis to one half bar. You will then enter an extensive cutscene, uncovering Venedis' actual character, finishing up the mission. Every agony, every violation imagined. Maybe for the moment you are of more use to me alive. <clears throat> this home. Home? Really? You will tell the truth when I return. Now I must set things right. <clears throat> We'll take him. Oh, your majesty. A pleasure to see you again. Bronyfer. <laughs> Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. Refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to click the channel button. See you and thank you.